Ghana, a developing nation whose environment has become a victim of its own development. Population increases, rapid industrialization and booming commercial activities, promoting a continuous rural urban migration of citizens. The most obvious result, generation of waste far beyond the handling capacity of urban and suburban waste management facilities and agencies. Once people are congregated in a place, they will produce waste. So you must provide the necessary waste management facilities. Although industrial gas and liquid waste form an appreciable percentage of Ghana's environmental hazards, it is solid waste, commercial and domestic garbage which presents the visual nuisance. Everybody is producing at least half a kilogram of waste a day, solid. So if you are 20 million, you must be producing over 200,000 tons a day. That's a lot of waste to be moved. From foodstuffs, cans, bottles to paper cartons, toys and used clothing. The stubborn plastic that have seeped into the surface of the ground, not to mention the plastic shopping bags and water sachets that can be found in every pile of garbage. Meanwhile, filth and stench engulf our towns and cities, causing a negative impact on public health as cholera and other environmentally related epidemics rage through our land. The major uh, constraints have been the poor level of equipment that the waste companies have or even government organizations doing waste management have. A list of technical problems coupled with the attitude of Ghanaians towards waste disposal render the collective efforts of central government, metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies seemingly inadequate. People know what is expected of them but they refuse to do that. Ghana losing a war that governments had waged on waste. Ghana's hope for a clean and healthy country someday lies buried beneath these choked grains and gutters and streams of liquid waste. A fading hope that slowly diminishes with every billow of smoke from these burning refuse heaps. January 2006, a new name arises in the private sector to partner government in its war of waste management. Zoom Lion Ghana Limited is established with a bold promise to deliver in areas where other waste management companies have fallen short. Zoom Lion has the mission to be at the forefront of the nation's environmental services industry through the use of simple and affordable technology. Zoom Lion Ghana immediately focuses on a scientific research-based solution to the problems. Use of brand new equipment and vehicles. Develop capacity for fabrication, assembling and maintenance. Recycling, waste processing, waste minimization. Implement the tricycle concepts nationwide. Develop and train local expertise and a research database. Public education and awareness on sanitation. Provide total waste management services and solutions to valued clients. These objectives become the founding principles of Zoom Lion Ghana Limited in establishing what hopes to become the leading name in fully integrated waste management in Ghana by the year 2010. We chose the lion because of the qualities of the lion. You know the lion is a very tactful animal, very swift and strong. And that is how we go about our business. With just its name, Zoom Lion, a new approach to waste management in Ghana is declared. A new environmental warfare based on the sense of urgency, strength, tactics, aggression, persistence and precision of an acclaimed hunter is in use. And so when we see any refuse anywhere, we consider it to be a prey. Filth, garbage and stench are to be hunted down like prey in every corner of the country.
this time with a higher sense of urgency. Zoom Lion is committed to providing services that prevent environmental pollution as well as safeguard public health. An office complex situated at Maijon, Ashaliboche, in Accra, serves as the head office. It consists of the main administrative blocks, fabrication workshop, maintenance and engineering services unit, warehouse, stores and a vast transport bay. Regional and district offices are decentralized nationwide. Presently, we have branches in all 10 regions in Ghana. And we have regional supervisors at the regional level. And the regional offices also have a head in the head office, that is the head of operation. In addition to that, we have district supervisors in all the district offices. In the metropolitan areas, we have sub-metros. And we have designated the sub-metro also as district. Zoom Lion Ghana Limited currently provides public waste management and urban beautification services in the various metropolitan areas, ceremonial centers, streets, public convergence places, etc. Apart from the riders in Accra, we have sweepers, we have drain cleaners, we have pickers. Basically, their target is to ensure that the streets are clean. When I say the streets, I mean the ceremonial and major streets. They clean the drains, they sweep the streets, they make sure that the medians of the major streets are cleared. The surroundings of the streets, that is beyond the drains area, I would say roughly about 30 meters away from the drains. They also handle markets and lorry parks. They also offer a variety of sanitation services to private institutions and individual households, including door-to-door -door solid waste collection, weeding, street sweeping, desilting of drains, refuse heap evacuation, and landfill sites management. For the individuals, we clear their waste mostly. That is what we do for them. Some of them who do not have refuse bins, we give them refuse bins. Some of them want once a week service, others want twice a week service. Sometimes if you don't know which one to choose, we look at your area and prescribe for you. Aside of that, if we assess your area and there is a need for any other service, such as fumigation, we do that. Sometimes we beautify their compounds. We also empty cesspit. Water tanker supplies, cesspit emptying, pest control services, horticulture and landscaping, as well as commercial and industrial waste management have become some of their most popular services to estate developers, factories and health and educational institutions. Here in Zoom Lion, when it comes to cleaning, we work around the clock. Some work in the morning, especially those that work along the ceremonial streets. They work from 4 a.m. in the morning to around 10 a.m. Those are the times that uh, we feel appropriate that uh, uh, effective work can be carried out. Now, when you look at the central business area, especially Mokola and other market areas, because of the market activities, it will not be expedient to work during the day. So they work in the night from 6 p.m. to around 11 p.m. before they close. With offices in all 10 regions in Ghana, as well as offices in all municipal and district assemblies, Zoom Lion has firm roots in urban, suburban, and rural areas. Waste management services have now been extended to most towns in the hinterland, with an equitable distribution of equipment and personnel, ensuring that rural areas also gain access to the quality modern waste management and janitorial services of Zoom Lion Limited. With a staff strength of about 13,000 workers nationwide, Zoom Lion Ghana is one big family of committed and dedicated workers. Contrary to common misconceptions, waste management requires a highly skilled administration of competent scientific and technical management board for effective operation. 
The management of Zoom Lion Ghana has taken this into serious consideration and where necessary, operational managers and supervisors are sent overseas for advanced training to be abreast with modern trends. Our technicians and engineers have had the chance to visit our track manufacturing companies to exchange ideas and learn. With just a few years of existence, Zoom Lion has infused into its operations nationwide a wide variety of modern waste management equipment. The quality and quantity of vehicles, tools and equipment is unprecedented in the waste sector in Ghana and one of the best in Africa. Uh, we are using uh, different types of vehicles for different purposes. Skip loaders compaction trucks, tipper trucks, roll on trucks, water tankers, cesspit emptiers, road sweepers, road washers, pest control trucks, manual tricycles, motorized tricycles, floor tile sweepers, wheelbarrows, shovels, brooms, dust bins, Collection of waste is very expensive. The trucks don't last very long because they are run more than eight hours a day, seven days a week. So they need to be kept in a state of good repair all the time. We have, we have mechanics here, we have engineers here. Uh, we have uh, our partners also from China who are engineers who are also helping us here. So they do the, the, the service and the maintenance of the vehicles here. Most of the areas are not well planned. We have an innovation, which is the tricycle service. And that is what we use at areas that are not easily accessible to the um, compactors. The container on the tricycles go from house to house in close environments to collect garbage and dump them at a collecting center. With that, it goes into the nooks and crannies of all the places and picks up even the least of refuse. We do a lot of fabrication work here. The fabrication of our tricycles is done here, burning, cutting, welding, and then spraying, then assembling. We have seen that most uh, waste management companies in Ghana do not have that facility and that has cost them uh, dearly. So we instituted uh, about 40% uh, of our workshop labor to fabrication. The fabrication unit currently undertakes the production of refuse containers of different sizes for Zoom Lion, as well as other waste companies upon request. We do fabrication of the skip lifters, roll-on containers. We also bring back deteriorated uh, containers and uh, vehicles here and refabricate the parts needed to put them back on the road. They also fabricate bins for the tricycles, the chassis frame of the tricycles and other spare parts for use by the engineering unit. The tricycle chassis are made from strong lightweight metal pipes and durable metal sheets are used in constructing the bins. Proper care is taken to ensure that the welder joints remain firm. The dismembered fabricated pieces are sent to the spraying section where protective coating is applied to prevent easy rusting of the metal pieces before the final color coating. The final assembly point, the axle, steering bar, the paddling mechanism and brake systems are fixed. Three wheels, two in the rear and one in front are also fixed. All the other accessories are then fitted to specification. The rectangular refuse bin with spring shock mounts is carefully fixed on the axle of the rear wheels, enabling a loading capacity of about 100 kilograms of solid waste. 
After the successful trial of the manual tricycle, a motorized version has been introduced and it is run by a 0.5 liter motor engine. The motor engine makes it possible to run on heavier axles and stronger wheels, therefore increasing the load capacity and speed. Highly economical fuel consumption rates and no strenuous paddling required. Employees are an important part of managerial decisions and they are given an opportunity to contribute to decision making. The management and staff enjoy a very cordial working relationship based on discipline, mutual respect and collective involvement in daily decision making. At the head office, this spirit of brotherhood is affirmed at the daily devotion and motivational session that is held every morning by the staff before the commencement of work. Oh, management, I'm a Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a to be very honest with you, I don't think there's anybody who is either with the operation section, account section, marketing section, who will say has never or does not enjoy tremendous working relationship with them. That one I can say is cordial. We know that our drivers are dealing with, you know, uh, refuse, so they have been protected with, uh, you know, protective clothes, boots, hand gloves, nose marks, and then sometimes it's a fake count to get them from things. You know. We respect our staff so much. For that matter, we provide all the logistics they need for their work and on time. Zoom Lion has training facilities that is currently training our workers and this we intend to expand in due course to become a major training institution for all sanitation workers in this country. Yeah, there's a program of periodic training, the induction training, on the job training. Discussions and efforts are underway between Zoom Lion and institutions of higher learning in Ghana and abroad for the establishment of waste management institutions to service Ghana's increasing need for modern waste management expertise and research. Zoom Lion Ghana Limited has also initiated the training of women in the operation of earth moving vehicles. The project, codenamed Zoom Captain, hopes to break new grounds. This previously mill dominated area is an important part of waste management, especially in evacuation. And the inclusion of women in this field means there will be abundant expertise in the industry. There is a very high demand now because Zoom Lion covers all districts in the country. And we need supervisors, we need mechanics, so we must be training quite a lot. The first batch of trainees have already passed out and are dutifully engaged by Zoom Lion and other waste management as well as construction companies. A market competitive performance based pay and condition of service ensures that workers earn additional reward for their contribution towards the attainment of corporate goals. <laughs> You make sure I said that, yeah, yeah. When we area, we want to circle for instance, you know, and when you're baby, a man for DJ or Pinty, if you think to me, Baho, Baham, and I'm Prince, a man for where about so Zoom line for by a Jumano Cost of Parma, a Finny circle name, environment, maybe it's sending at the first, no. So, Miss Amias Bavas, I'm a Tessa, no, I'm a Niaji. You see, men can come in from Cabet Mia Boasa, and get the whole gun across the Jumano Sam's as a woman, no, me, no, you're crony in a moon tank, I'm a new bedroom. Oh, no more learning, no more. Yeah, yeah, me say, yeah, Such is the motivation and inspiration that fuels the enthusiasm and dedication to duty, always evident in the way personnel from Zoom Lion execute their duties on our streets and communities daily. And that is a way of motivating them, making them happy and dignified in whatever they are doing.
In the run-up to the 26th Africa Cup of Nations, Ghana 2008, the equipment capacity and staff was increased by 70% for Accra and the host cities. When it comes to the, the stadia, we clean the floors, the glasses, the tables, and chairs, those are the ones we term as janitorial services. And then when it comes to waste management services, we sweep, we collect the waste, and then we send to the final disposal site. One key thing that we do is picking within the stand. We have our men right in the stand, and they ensure that people don't drop their litter on the floor. They have trash bags, so this ensure that and littering is as minimal as possible. The achievement of Zoom Lion at Ghana 2008 was a major contributing factor to Ghana's successful organization. So effective was Zoom Lion's approach that it has won not only the admiration of most Ghanaians, but also received a special commendation by the Parliament of the Republic of Ghana. Invitations have since been received from many other African nations preparing to host such big tournaments. In order to instill the habit of cleanliness and correct sanitation practices in the masses, Zoom Lion has established the Zoom Kids Club in basic schools to teach young ones the correct sanitation habits. This is to ensure that the new generation grows up with the correct attitude on sanitation and environmental cleanliness. A lot of households Corporate organizations and establishments do clean their surroundings but do not dispose of their refuse well. Most of them is due to the lack of refuse bins. Most people don't even have dustbins in their houses. I do agree with them. Dustbins are too expensive. I, I can't see how you spend a million cities buying a plastic waste bin just simply to put refuse into it. Zoom Lion therefore organized the free bin promotion where individuals and organizations are given free waste bins to dispose of their waste. Zoom Lion then empties these bins frequently to avoid the unfortunate sight of overflowing waste baskets. A major challenge with communal containers is the situation at the final disposal site especially in Accra and Kumasi. Most of the times, the equipment that work at the final disposal site break down. So you have periods when our trucks go to queue. The problem of overcrowding at the landfill sites hampered the routine of waste container emptying as trucks had to queue for long hours at the landfill sites just to dump. And if a vehicle has to lift about five to six containers a day, then you realize that by the close of the day, he has only handled about two or three containers. Zoom Lion has now acquired large tracts of land and is currently running its own landfill sites effectively in various cities and municipalities. The project also includes reclamation of old landfills for use. Taking advantage of the huge accumulation of organic waste being dumped every day, Zoom Lion Ghana Limited has ventured into operating composting plants where layers of decomposed waste will be produced as manure, an important contribution to the development of the agricultural sector. And we need to do recycling now because uh, we are running out of landfills. We have from our waste about almost 80% of material that can be recycled. We are looking at separation. That is where paper, glass, and politics are separated into the right kind of bins. Those major items can be separated as source, and then it is easier to, sep uh, to recycle. We procured colored bins red for things that waste that is harmful to the environment like the plastics and the glass and then green for waste that is less harmful to the environment presently we lump them all together so those who are recycling plastics have to collect it from the mixed up refuse and then wash them before they recycle so it becomes very very expensive
For a long time, communities around the Bui Hydroelectric Dam have suffered persistent black fly infestation. The black fly is a major transmitter of the dreadful tropical disease, Onchocerciasis, causing severe skin nodules and blindness. From September 2007, Zoom Lion carried out extensive disinfestation exercises in the communities. The disinfestation exercise also included larviciding, the killing of the black fly larvae in the lake and its tributaries to prevent further breeding by the flies. By August 2008, the black fly nuisance and the onchocerciasis menace in the Bui communities had been significantly minimized. Zoom Lion Ghana Limited has also undertaken successful anti-mosquito fumigation projects in the Volta region as well as agricultural pesticide spraying for crop farmers. As part of its objectives to become a leading name in waste management in the West African sub-region, Zoom Lion has expanded its operations to neighboring Togo. With the use of modern technology, adequate equipment, skilled personnel and efficient services that characterize the effective operations in Ghana, Zoom Togo is gradually warming itself into the hearts of many Togolese. Presently, no waste management company has the capacity that we have. The major problem with waste management in uh, Ghana has to do with attitude of Ghanaians. We can employ a lot more people, use the latest technology we have ever seen, but then when the people's attitudes do not change, we will not get anywhere. In dealing with our clients, mainly metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies, public organizations, private companies, and various households, we always stress on our three key words, value, reliability, and quality. We become part of the various communities because we work closely with these communities. We are always there for them, collecting their garbage, distorting their drains, and this has made them develop some trust in us they realize that our action impacts positively on their environment and it also promotes their health. Our growth has been a steady one. Most of our clients are interested in doing business with us because they have come to appreciate the professionalism and the speed with which we attend to them when they call.